guys and welcome to another YouTube page of mine. Um, I'm hoping that you enjoy my channel. Um, I was just uh, going to do another video. Okay, uh, my camera has been messing up. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been posting. Um, I wanted to tell you about a trucker's wife's life. What is it like? Um, let me see. Uh. Trucker's wife's life, we are the strongest in the industry. Now, you don't see it in the books. You don't see it them teaching it. You don't, a teacher that you're just in CDL school, you won't see it. You won't hear it. You won't do nothing. You won't hear nothing about us wives. Okay? Um, us wives, we are the strongest, though. You could go ask any instructor. You can go to any truck stop to ask them. Okay, um, is, the, is that true? A trucker's wife is the strongest in the industry. Yeah, it is. Um, we, the reason we are the strongest in the industry, okay, number one, is we worry about our spouses being out there. Now, when I say worry about our spouses being out there is because Anything can happen to your spouse, okay? You could think of fires, you know, they could burn to death in a truck. Um, missing, somebody can steal the truck and he's in it and they beat him up really bad and he's dead. Heart attacks, same thing, you know. Uh, they can find them dead in a truck anytime. Um, you know, it's it's... That's why we are the strongest, because we pray for our spouses to get there on plan A to point B. I mean, my heart just pounds 24-7 of the day when my husband is gone for the, for the, um, for the yard. You know, every time he starts moving that truck, it, my heart goes like this. Every day, you know, I mean, it's, I can't think of anything negative, I mean, positive or anything, because anything could happen. He could be in a bad accident. He could be stuck, stranded, you know, you know, make a backup plan, okay? Um, give him time to call you, like, I'm giving my husband 24 hours of and if he doesn't call me in within those 24 hours, then I am going to his company and tell him, has Chris moved his truck? Which there is a black box to telling them that, yeah, it's been moved. So, um, a trucker's wife, okay, this is a, based on a true story, okay? A trucker's wife on Friday didn't expect was expecting her husband home. When the weekend came, was gone, Monday she went to the trucking company and they found the black box. They knew where the truck was at and everything else. They called the State Highway Patrol. They called the State Highway Patrol. Here, they found the driver dead in the truck. He had a bad heart attack in the truck. So don't think it won't happen to you. It will happen to you. So, you know, you, never, you can never tell what's going to happen to your husband. So make sure you guys get a plan going, all right? Tell your wives, you truckers, tell your wives where you're at. What highway are you on? Wives look it up you know so you can backtrack on the way when you're looking for your husband go to every single truck stop that you'll come to on that highway make a backup plan because this is a good opportunity for your husband for you to find the truck and to find your husband also this is a good point have your have your husband 
tell you where you're, he's at. What highway is he at? Write it down so you can backtrack on which ways he went. Try to find every single truck stop on the way and look in the truck stops to see if you can find your man's truck. That is a good scenario too and the good pointer. Because that's what my husband does. He tells me where he's, what highway he is on. I'm on such and such. I'm on this. I'm on that. Okay, so then tell your wife what truck stop you are at before you she even goes to bed, you know, or anything. I'm going to stop here for the night, honey. Okay, dear. You know, good pointers for being a trucker's wife, you know, write things down because... You never know what's going to happen to your man down back in out there. I can't talk today. So make sure that you have a backup plan. Okay? Make a backup plan for you and your wife. Just in case something happens to you. Because us truckers' wives are stronger for our man. So, that's a good point. But I just, you know, I just want to get that out, you know. Make a backup plan for your wife. Um, how can you help your husband? Okay, how can I help my husband out? Okay, sometimes the place has a P.O. box. Can you put a P.O. box in a GPS? No. Call your wife. If she stays home, call your wife and says, I need the address for this place. Then she'll give it to you and then put it in your GPS. That's how I help my husband out a lot. Because it's a good point, you know. Um, another thing is... I have noticed that most of you are on e-logs, you know, you guys can see what time he has left on the books to see if he can make it home or if he can make it there for the night, you know, see how much time he has left so you guys can keep track or keep track on the miles he's been doing and then keep track on the load, see how many he does a day. So that's another pointer that you guys can use, you know. So anything to help any truckers out, I'm hoping that this helps you guys out. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, I can't do any more videos for the night because, because my husband is sick. So he will probably be calling in just a few minutes and telling me, Honey! I need this. He's sleeping now, but... And there's my dog. So... Gotta go outside? Yeah? Okay, we'll go outside in a minute. Okay. So, yeah, those are great pointers. So, you guys take care. Have a wonderful night. And wish me luck on my husband beginning better. Because I sure hope so. So you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe, like, favorites. And I will be posting more videos for my YouTube page soon. Because i got to get that storyline out. I might start doing that Monday. You never know what I'm going to videotape next. So you guys take care.